Thanks for coming in here instead of the pub. I fancied somewhere a bit quiet. Yeah, it's fine. And to be honest, I've had my fill of lads for a lifetime. <laughs> Me too. Hey, never realised you had those skills. Skills? What? Kicking a ball around the field? Do you want a divorce? Well, I actually enjoyed it. Beats working at the B and B anyway. I swear, if Eric says he's just an employee, one more time. Get out. Not until you've heard what I've got to say. Can we just talk? Get you in the house, Robert. I know Victoria's got her version of what happened. Her version? Just leave it. But there's another point of view to be added. We've been through all this. Have you got any understanding of what you've done? Lee's lost his job and his reputation because of your lies. Do you actually expect me to feel sorry for him? He was supposed to be emigrating to Australia, but there's no chance he can afford it now. You know what you did. Lisa, there's no case to answer. Why are you keeping this going? The baby is all he's got left. I just want to do the right thing, Vic. Be your dad. Get her inside. I'm having that DNA test once the baby's born. Yeah, you'll have to get past me first. I want to spend every minute I can with my kid. You can understand that, can't you, mate? You show your face around here again, and you're leaving an ambulance. Did you see the way he looked at me? Just leave it, Robert. But I wouldn't give to wipe that smug smile off his gob. We agreed that you weren't going to go anywhere near him. He needs to stop this Justice League vigilante nonsense. Let him make as much noise as he wants while Vic sets herself up somewhere else. He's never going to find her. You all right? I suppose. Look, what he said out there... Robert, I don't want to talk about it. I won't let him anywhere near you. You don't need to worry. I'm going to go to the B&B &B in a bit and meet Diane and talk about when he's packing for Cornwall. It'll all be OK, I promise you. <laughs> 